Boom! What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So, in today's video, we are going to talk about CCIV Church Hill Capital. This is a company that we've covered here on the channel. I've given you guys my perspective. I do own a lot of these shares. And finally, this company is making a debut under the new ticker symbol on the NASDAQ. So that's what I want us to talk about today, give you guys my game plan. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if you have something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So when it comes to Churchy Capital, um, this is the Lexus of uh, Tesla, in my personal opinion. There's so many uh, good things about this company that I like in the direction they're going and some of the investors, I kind of like that direction. So I have a lot of shares. So just so you guys know. Uh, but again, if you are just looking for an alternative and you didn't get into Tesla, you want something that you can buy uh, now that's cheap and hopefully ride it up to the next five, 10 years and, and enjoy that, that growth, then this would be a, a really good EV for you to go into. Uh, the thing I like about them is that they are not rushing to the market. Like I've seen other EV companies that will go out there and put their face and don't even have a product to show for. So these guys are doing the opposite. They're taking their time and actually making sure that they have something that they can go to market with. So again, if you are not in the stock, do some research before you jump in. So the reason why I'm actually doing this video today is because Lucid um, has been trading under the ticket symbol CCIV, which is a spark. And finally, their merger or their combination is over. So just to give you guys some context, last Thursday, they actually voted to combine the two uh, companies. So CCIV, which is Chelsea Capital and Lucid Models. And so they didn't get enough vote. And so they had to, again, adjoin that vote and vote on Friday uh, to complete it. And after Friday, 99% of the shareholders had voted that they won that combination to go through. So if you get up on Monday morning, you're gonna see that the ticket symbol is gonna switch from CCIV to LCID that would be the new ticket symbol at uh, trading on Monday. So if you see that new ticket symbol, don't be scared, don't be confused. That's where it's going to be. Uh, that's the new ticket symbol and it's going to be trading uh, on the NASDAQ. So again, from a perspective of a game plan, we've seen it over and over here on the channel with other sparks that there's usually what I call a post spark slump. So if we just go over here and take a look at what happened to this stock when before they even announced that they were going to uh, go public, um, you can see here CCIV, there was some rumor that they were going to take Lucy public somewhere down here. And then finally, when that message came, look at what happened to the stock. It went up to as high as $58. So if you look then from there, they made the announcement and guess what happened? It just took a beating back in February and see this thing drop down uh, from that um, 58 down to 27. It, it, it went as low as $17 and some change. And I kept telling you guys that keep buying, keep putting money into this uh, company because when this thing bounces, you're gonna see some really good returns. So see, it got down to that 17, squeezed back up to 26 and went as high as 28 um, just in, in June and then now uh, sitting somewhere at 24, 20, uh, 25. So again, to me, this is a great opportunity uh, for, for this stock. So if the game plan, again, for me, you guys know I'm a long term. So I'm gonna look for opportunities here to buy. As soon as this thing debuted, you're gonna see maybe a little spike and then pull back. So if you're just looking to take some quick profit out, when you see that spike, I say lock in that profit because you're gonna see some pullback. Again, that's my anticipation um, because I'm basing this on history of other sparks that I've seen in the market. Usually the sparks come out, you see a spike after the merger, and then you see a massive pullback. Just take, for instance, what we just had with uh, Meta Materia. Meta Materia and, and Torchlight. It spiked all the way up and then pulled back. It's pulled back down now to under $4. It even went as low as under $3. So, again, if you are looking to buy, don't jump in. Wait for that pullback before you can jump in because when you see that spike, FOMO is going to jump in. You're going to think like, oh, I'm going to be missing out on all these gains. So I don't want you to be in that situation. I want you to be focused. I want you to use your mind and be patient. 
let this thing come to you if you're looking to buy long term but if you're just looking uh, for a quick trade and then buy and as soon as you see that spike secure your profit and then use that profit to go back again when it pulls back and buy and take and then hold it or ride it for the longest term so again just just a quick recap here guys um as like like i said for this thing start trading it's going to be trading under the new ticket symbol lcid and you're going to see it nothing is going to change as far as your 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 share sizes everything is going to be the same um the name now is going to be lucid group so it's not going to be just lucid motor the lucid group incorporation so that'll be the new name that they're going to be trading under and there's one thing i want to bring it up to you guys here there is um, a saudi arabia investor that owns about 60 percent of this company and i'm thinking i think it's a good thing for the company because if there is a saudi arabia investor and this person wants to push this vehicle in saudi arabia these guys have money they would buy these the cars like crazy they would buy the lucid dream the lucid air they'll buy the, they'll buy gravity all the products that are going to come they're going to push it out there um in saudi arabia and push and in, in actually increase the sales which by definition is going to translate to profitability so to me that is something that you should definitely uh keep an eye on so i'm excited about the move i don't know about you guys but again if you are just looking to get into the stock be careful don't jump in wait for that pullback even though the current price at which this thing is trading is not terrible but be certain that you're buying the really bottom so wait for it wait for that post uh, merger uh, what I call pullback that post merger slum and then you can ride it all the way so that would be uh, my perspective here so guys if if you have any questions definitely don't hesitate again I'm an investor in this particular company huge um, I'm, I'm not talking like 100 200 I'm talking about three thousand doing three and four thousand shares total as a matter of fact, about 4,500 shares so I mean I'm I'm big here and my average is under 20 which is to me is is excellent so I'm gonna hold this uh, long term I mean at some point I'm, I might uh, offload a little bit and diversify and put it in something else but for now um, I'm just sitting there holding tight to see where this goes so let me know in the comment section what you think if you're new to the channel guys we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth if that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content also if you're looking to get started with investing guys we both have a promotion where if you sign up and deposit a hundred dollars you get free stocks no cost to you i'll put the links in the description below and as always guys do your due diligence don't be a greedy savage stay motivated I'm